guys have met quite a few times. There are a lot of history between Bone and Couch. The 93 TPC Couch defeated Bone 238 214 to win the tournament. But in the three other times that Jason has bowled Parker, Parker has been the victor. First shot, second match. Another great shot from Jason Couch, and certainly he wants to get off to a fast start against Parker Bone because Parker does sort of have his number. And Parker with a strike. He answers. And entering that final game of match play we were watching the other night, Marshall, and uh, Parker was first, dropped all the way to third. Didn't seem to bother him, though. Parker's got a great attitude, and, it, you know, he he's able to let the adversity just sort of fall off his shoulders. You know, Parker won his first tournament back in 1987. It was the Columbia 300 Open. That tournament was pulled up in Seattle. Coming in high, leaving the four and the seven pin. Just not a very good shot from Parker Bone. Fortunate the ten pin falls or no split, so Generally a good spare shooter should be able to, to convert this, and he does. A couple of cashers this year out of four events, starting a little bit slow. Boy, last year he started quick and really was the front runner for PBA Player of the Year to Walter Ray Williams. The, well, it was the Walter Ray Williams Junior Tour, the fall tour. Yeah, it was uh, Parker early and Walter late. And Walter picking up another PBA Player of the Year award, his fifth. Couch gets them both to go. And a very, excuse me, Phil, a very unusual strike for Jason Couch. A man who is a power player usually sends the five pin going to the right. We'll take a look at this. Here's the five, there's the ten, and that was uh, very friendly, Jason. <laughs> a surprised reaction from Jason Couch. Trying for three in a row. A little more like the Jason Couch I'm used to watching. The five pin going over toward the ten pin. Boys rolling the ball nice after a 249 in the opening game. Three straight strikes to start this second match. Parker, 222 average last year, 214 this year. And able to kick it. The eight pin. So, okay, Jason, you want a friendly roll? I can do that too. Watch the six pin, watch the eight pin. They're not there anymore. Mm. And a little thank you from Parker <laughs> Bone the third. Bone down by 20. Fourth frame. Going for a double. And it's a six pin coming in just a little bit high. Parker Bone and his girlfriend Leslie have started a uh, fan club for Parker called the Bone Zone. And if you want information on that, it's www.pb3bull.com. So Parker Bone with a spare. But the song goes, all your exes live in Texas. Right now, all the exes belong to Jason Couch. He's in command here in match two. In the first game, he has the front three here, so that's 11 strikes in 13 frames for Jason. Looking to draw out from a 20 to a 30-pin advantage with a strike here in the fourth. And it is big trouble. The four, six, seven, ten, and the eight is there as well. Just cuts right through the heart. No break at all for Couch. Coming back off a commercial break, Marshall, sometimes it affects players or not? I, I really don't think it has anything to do with, uh, with that shot from Jason. It's not only does he lead the big split, but he short counts himself as well. And what was a 20-pin lead is now, in one easy frame, a three-pin deficit. Hmm. So really, the commercial break, uh, you stand there walking around, doesn't bother these players. Oh, uh, these players know the way the format is, and they're, they're prepared. Shouldn't be a big deal. Couch up. 
in the fifth. Got it out. Here it comes. Splatters. Comes right back. A little bit different demeanor than a week ago. Jason Couch. Yeah, Jason coming in light. Power strike. Five pins goes off to the right. He looked at his at his ball rep, Del Ballard. Asked him, what did he do wrong on lane 20 as we see Parker Bone on that very lane? Solid strike. Boy, Parker had, a, once again, a great year last year, and he now leads by three pins midway through this second game. Four first-place finishes, a couple of second-place finishes last year. And let's take a look at what I believe to be the most beautiful game on our tour. Parker Bone the third, just poetry in motion. Very few players you see that are that fluid, that solid. Parker's in a, you know, class by himself as far as the style is concerned. Light hit, carries on lane 19. Remember that 20 pin deficit? Parker now 13 pins in the lead. Ball coming back from quite a ways off to the left. Shakes him down. Parker's tickling <laughs> the pins over. So Couch up in the sixth. Needs a double. He's back, and that's, you know, really what I like about Jason Couch in 1999 better than in years past is his ability to forget about what he's done bad and just concentrate on being, you know, in the moment. Jason taking a re-rack on lane 19. Didn't like the way the pins were set. You know, these guys look at these pins, you know, week in, week out for in years. Their, their dreams, yeah. And they can, in just a glance, they can see if the, if the pins aren't spotted correctly. For Jason, probably focusing on the one and two. Didn't like the way they looked. He likes the way that looks. <laughs> it's not there now. Three in a row for Jason Couch. As you can see, Jason Couch, beautiful shot, and he is back in this match. In fact, he's on top by seven. We got a dandy going. Parker down by seven pins. This match seesaws back and forth with a strike here. He can take a three-pin advantage. Will it get back to the pocket? It just barely got back. That ball definitely light all the way. You know, but I'll tell you, the, the better you get, the luckier you, lucky you get. And then Parker, certainly a great player. A nice view of that straight arm swing, Parker Bone. Ball goes a little further left than he wants, but it gets back to the pocket and uh, shakes him down. Parker up in the eighth frame. High game this week of 290. Low game 169. I'd take that. That's better. He liked it, Marshall. On a shot that he loved, solid seven. Maybe, maybe he should go back to that one that wasn't better. <laughs> Parker's been so consistent. He's earned over $100,000 each of the last seven years. Watch the four pin as it goes around the bottom of the seven. And just does hang on for the spare. A little bit of a loose shot for Parker Bone. I tried to miss it. That's Parker shooting at the seventh pin. <laughs> Barely. Does pick it up. Two pins down right now for Jason Couch on lane 20. Oh, oh look at the seven as he just barely trips it out with the four pin. The same lane that he left that five count split on. Watch the four pin into the, into the channel, back out, takes care of the seven. Oh, a little skip to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jason Couch on fire. Three straight strikes to start the match, and then a, a big open in the fourth, but has come back strong with four straight strikes. Well, he had eight by eight. Had eight strikes the first game. He already has seven strikes this game with a strike here in the ninth frame. No matter what Parker Bone does, he cannot shut out Jason Couch. So big shot here in the ninth. Stubborn seven. Flat seven for Jason Couch. The soft seven, the four pin just lays in the channel, does not get back out to knock it down as it did in the previous frame. And what happens on a flat shot like that? Is it just the ball doesn't finish? A ball coming in a little bit, just a little bit late. Not really the fact that it wasn't finishing, just came in a little behind the head pin. No problem with the conversion. 
Jason Couch, possible 239. Excuse me, 236. Parker Bowen with a possible 239 game. So if Parker can take strikes in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh and get eight pins, he'll be your champion. He struggled on TV, averaging just 202 on this TV pair. Strike in the ninth. And really, the last two games, he shoots 176, 174, and he said he just put that right out of his mind. Yeah, uncharacteristic for Parker to uh, to struggle the way he did late, but uh, no problems here. Look at the solid finish and the great result. So Bone can go out with 239 and Jason Couch 236. So it's coming right down to this 10th frame. Needs two strikes and eight pins to shut out Jason Couch. Going up on lane 19. Will it hold? The late trip with the seven pin. That puts, puts Bowen in the lead. Up by three pins to extend to a 13 pin lead. This is the shot of the match right now. And Jason certainly knows it. A strike here, and I don't like Jason's chances because I think Parker can take care of that eight pins he needs on the fill ball. Kyle's still alive. Not only does he not strike and shut him out, but with that strike right, with that eight count right there, there is a distinct possibility of a tie. In fact, right now, it, Parker looking at the score. If he takes one, he shoots 226. That would force Jason Couch to go strike spare to tie him. I think he's got to go for the one. Playing the percentages. Good thinking, Parker. 226 for Parker Vaughn. And, and again, Couch goes strike spare. We have a tie. And should that happen, Marshall? One shot roll off, sudden death. For Jason, it's very simple. The strike here. He still has a chance to win the match outright or a tie. Anything less than a strike on this opening shot, Parker Bone will advance to Bull Patrick Healy Jr. And a little distraction. Mm, boy, that <laughs> crucial shot. Steps back. Take your time. Take your time. Make a shot. The Parker right there cheering him on. <laughs> Needs to put that behind him. Concentrate on making the shot here in the 10th frame. As command of the lanes, it's just a matter of can he do it. And it's going to be Parker Bone the third. And really unfortunate for Couch. Ball hooks just a little bit high. And so Couch, after winning the opening match with the 249, still a, a nice effort here in match two, but it's going to fall uh, at least a pin short should he strike on this fill ball. But it's 226 for Parker Bone. And so Parker, who's won 17 national titles, will take on a player that is looking for his very first PBA championship in Patrick Healy Jr. Now, Patrick, another great player. You're going to see two players who have very, very Good balance at the foul line. Parker on the left-hand side of the lane. Patrick on the right. Get it off your hand clean. Right. So coming up, match three, our semifinal match. It is Bone going up against Healy. Quite an amateur player. We'll have that match in a minute.